Hello and welcome to a short video clip on Excel-based reporting within SAP Business by Design. In this short video clip, we would like to illustrate how easy it is to start your analysis in a browser-based analysis UI and continue your analysis within Excel, leveraging the best of both worlds. The business example we would like to use is a classical invoice net value revenue forecasting case where we try to understand the drivers of our invoices first in the browser-based analysis and continue it within Excel. So you find the invoice net value as a KPI on your launchpad, but for more comprehensive analysis, we have the overview page where we have KPI and report cards showing different aspects of our business performance. And here we see the net invoice value, which is the starting point of our analysis, a KPI detail screen showing us current value, how far we are away from the targets, some further drill down on industries in this case. But for our forecasting, we straight want to navigate into the analysis pattern where we have a selection pane. And for forecasting, we are now interested in more uh, data regarding the time frame. So we want to at least see two years, last two years from today. We press apply. Of course, the view is not appropriate anymore. So we want to see it more in a table. And let's maybe exchange the month calendar year dimension with the columns, with drag and drop. And we see how our industries are doing across the time frame. In order to focus more on a specific industry, the wholesale trade, let's furthermore select just the wholesale business. Don't forget to press apply again. And now we are looking into this business, continuing our analysis in Excel. To achieve this, we now open the same data in our Excel-based frontend via Navigate to Microsoft Excel. With this, an XML has to be opened with Excel. And as soon as this happens, our, by design, add-in is activated and we connect via our web interfaces to the cloud system. In this case, I have to log on again which I can avoid by using a certificate. So we now log on to our cloud system and the same view which we have seen in browser-based reporting is now opened in our Excel front end, which is communicating via web services to our cloud system. Of course, we can then continue our analysis by seeing the by design pivot pane, which you see here. And for example, I can get rid of the result row here for the month calendar year don't want to see the results. I also don't want to see this result row for the industry. I continue my work, for example, by choosing that I want to see not the description for month in year, I want to so see the ID. And just to show how powerful our uh, integration to Excel is, I can now, for example, expand and collapse the list of attributes here and see search for the invoice as an example. I can add the invoice to the rows and maybe I want to group it by invoicing units just as an additional idea. Let's drag and drop the invoicing unit before my invoice. And now I can see, for example, which invoices lead to certain invoice net value. And it's very easy from here to navigate back to the by design system and prove and see the data which is underlying. So with one click, I'm now back in the by design system where I can see the detailed invoices, can see the related account, etc., and can even go as far as seeing the document flow, which explains ex exactly how this business process was, the, was being executed. So we now close this and go back to our Excel. For, to continue my analysis, I would, would like to get rid of invoicing unit and invoice. And now I want to continue with a small forecasting scenario. So let's add for analysis purpose, the period one to 21, which represents my actual data. And from here I can now choose, for example, forecasting 
scenario where Excel extrapolates my data with exponential smoothing. In this case, I want to forecast another 12 months, which leads me to 33 forecasting periods. I have further options, and of course, I have not the time to go into all the Excel capabilities we have here. We use an exponential smoothing case. We now can just create the data and show it for further analysis. By clicking on it, you can see that a certain forecast function for exponential smoothing was inserted. And by going back to my Excel add-in, I can now save this personal workbook, save it back to the by design system, call it ETS version two. And with this, I'm of course then able to go to my by design system which is here, and for example, go to the report list, where I now have the ability to choose my Excel workbooks, which I've saved. So the version two is now here. I can easily open it again and see the same data opened from a by design system. By the way, the key user has the ability to share this workbook also centrally to a whole team by making it a public workbook. So with this, I hope you, uh, you liked the integration of Excel and browser-based reporting. That is what we call built-in analytics. Yeah, see you in the next clip. Thank you very much for your attention.